Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. This time we're going to make a short one just showing how to record MIDI with a metronome. So uh, I think I'll start with just a, a quickie that I didn't get to show before. That's how to change. Um, by default, Muse sets up the first MIDI device as the default output. Uh, this means that when you when you create a MIDI track, the MIDI track will by will be set to use this output device. Uh, if you're an advanced user and use a lot of external hardware, you might want to set up uh, different defaults for for different uh, MIDI channels. Uh, usually, for me. I, I, when, when I create stuff, I just want it to take uh, the, the, the most recent MIDI device I've created, usually some soft synthesizer. And this is easily done by un unchecking this button. So there's no default. So now, I'll just uh, OK this then. Now, when I create a MIDI track, or rather we do, uh, if I create a MIDI track, now it will default to uh, the MIDI through. When I think that was probably the last one, the MIDI through. Um, we'll just set up a dummy, a dummy synthesizer. We can use uh, the MDA. VST piano. Now if we create a MIDI track it will be by by default be routed to this one. I enable recording so we can hear that I can play it. Uh, and now to the thing I really wanted to demo, the metronome. There, There's a few things to keep track of here. The metronome, uh, there's a button here and there's a window uh, let's see now, view the transport panel. Here's also a button for tar turning on and off the metronome. These are actually the same. So if I click this button, the other button will also be depressed. Or clicked. Depressed sounds depressing. Uh, okay, with that, with that out of the way, let's move on to the metronome settings. The metronome has basically two parts. Either we can forward MIDI clicks to one of the MIDI devices. So we set up a measure note and a beat note and they're sent to the MIDI channel and MIDI port specified here. They're all grayed out now since uh, we not, have not enabled MIDI click. I will use uh, audio beep and actually there's uh, a little glitch here that's very good to know. Audio beep in my system here is enabled, but currently it doesn't actually send the output to any audio device. You have to go here and enable it each time. Uh, also, you can select between uh, using the two samples is the solution that was used before, uh, where we have two specific audio sounds that, um, yeah, some kind of a blipping sound. Uh, I've recently added uh, this feature, which enable, enable some accents to be added to uh, th some of the beats. The idea behind this is that sometimes it's hard uh, when you have a lot going on in a mix to hear the actual beat, especially if you're playing alone and you are yourself uh, playing on the beat. Uh, I'm not really sure myself how good this is working yet, but uh, future will tell. The most important ones are the measurement, the measure and the beat. And this is the amount of volume for each. I think I'll, for now I'll just turn down, turn down the volume for the accents. And uh, 
we can select between a bunch of different WAV files. These, these are just WAV files placed in one of the folders in the installations. You can add more ones if you want. They will be listed here if you have some uh, specific requirements on your, how you want your metronome to sound. Uh, we'll just uh, apply these settings and I, I'll click the metronome here. So we have enabled it now when I press play. I need to extend this window a bit so we can see the play button. Now if I press play here we should hear a metronome. I have almost the same volume now if you take this down. You can try switching to some other one. I'll close that just for completeness. I'll do a little recording. And we have to store this metronome test. That's about it. Can, uh, can do one more thing here that's a little bit related. Uh, it's not really played. Uh, uh, oh, you can see that I'm not really, I don't have that good timing sometimes. So I can try to, I select all the notes here. Control A to select everything. We go to the functions and the the quantize function uh, and we can do I think we will do to eight uh, I'll quantize, quantize the events to the eights Let's see how that works out now I think I had clicked in to quantize the length also maybe that's not so bad we can listen to it It worked anyway, that was my point. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you, bye bye.